you go to www.stadia.com, this is where you used to log in and then start playing your game and everything. So as probably a few of you are, or, well, everybody that owned a Stadia knows that it was shut down because they sent notifications out prior to them shutting it down. And then you also got refunded for any games, well, all game, all purchases you've done and including the controller and everything. So everybody got refunded and US notified that was shut down. When it was up and running, to me personally, if you had fast internet and everything, I've had zero issues on the Stadia platform and I've even done a couple of my gameplays and posted on here. And it was pretty much moving. Pretty good too. So, these, ever since it got shut down, was pretty much non-usable. So, Google, if you didn't know, released the update, which I'm gonna do a walkthrough now on how to do that. But there's a deadline for that update. Once it's past that deadline, these are gonna be useless. You can't do absolutely nothing with it. So before the deadline, um, it's going to give you an update to turn this to pretty much permanently be a Bluetooth controller. So you can pair this with any Bluetooth device, like your phone, your tablet or whatever, and use it as a gaming device. But as we go along with the process, you'll learn more and more about it. So make sure your controller is fully charged. Mine's fully charged. So I'm going to set that aside because we don't need that for this moment. So once you go to stadia.com, you're welcomed with, thank you for playing with us. Stadia was sh shut down on January 18, 2023. So find up-to-date information in our help center. We don't have to go to that. You can skip that. What you want to do is go down to the bottom of the page. So as you can see, switch your Stadia controller to Bluetooth mode to keep gaming wirelessly with your devices and services after the Stadia shutdown. So this was the controller just for the Stadia, but now since the platform has been shut down, they've released the update to switch it to Bluetooth as it says. So learn more and it's gonna go here. So play wirelessly with Bluetooth. So switch your Stadia controller to Bluetooth mode to keep gaming wirelessly on your favorite devices and services at the Stadia shutdown. So here it says switch into Bluetooth mode, downloads a software update, system requirements, Chrome 10.8 or newer. 108 or newer. So important things to know. Switching is permanent. Once you switch your controller to Bluetooth mode, you can't change it back to use Wi-Fi on Stadia. You can still play wired with, with USB and Bluetooth mode. And this is the deadline I was telling you about. So this is available until December 31st, 2024 of this year. So make sure you get this done before December 20, 31st or this is pretty much done. You can't use it for absolutely nothing. So shout out to Google for doing this because this would have been a whole lot of e-waste around the world. I'm not sure how many people brought this, but that would have been a lot of controllers just getting thrown out. Probably some of y'all already done it, but didn't know, but now you do. So we're going to click to switch to Bluetooth mode. So here we go. So switch to Bluetooth mode, play wirelessly supported devices. This disables Stadia Wi-Fi wireless play. So first let's, well, let's do this. Start, it says it takes about three minutes and you want to do this on your Google Chrome browser. All right, so first things first, connect your, make sure you, been, oh, like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure your controller has been charged for at least 30 minutes and you're using USB cable. I charged mine prior to making the video, so I'm good. So you're gonna connect the blue, I mean, not the Bluetooth, the controller, you see it lights up. So it's connected. You wanna set it to the side and continue with the process. So allow Chrome to verify this is a device, yada, yada, yada. Allow connect. Chrome 
verify your Stadia controller. Go to the next step to unlock your controller. Next step. All right, so step one. All right, so unplug the controller to power it off. If it turns on again, hold the Stadia button for four seconds until it powers off. So the light's still on, so it's still on. So disconnect it, it turned off. And then it says hold the three buttons while plugging it in. So we're gonna do that. The status should remain off it, turns on, unplug it, try it again. All right, so it's staying off. All right, so now we gotta push this, this, and A all at the same time. So let me zoom you in so you can see. So we gotta push this button, this button, Y and A all at the same time. So we're gonna do that. And then there won't be any change to the controller feedback, go to the next step to confirm it's unlocked. I accidentally hit back. I should have moved away from the... Oh no, I didn't hit back. Download complete. Next step. I right, install Bluetooth mode. One more time, select the controller in the Chrome devices, then click, then click connect. Installation will start automatically. It should take about one minute. So do this. So it changed. Now it says USB composite device. So the name changed. So it worked. So now it's installing the update. Don't unplug the controller. I'll put the controller more into view. <clears throat> All right. So the light, well, let's turn back on, the light's on. So now it brings you to this screen. The latest blue, Bluetooth mode update is installed, game on. Your controller is in Bluetooth mode and compare it to Bluetooth devices. You can now unplug the controller, which we are going to do now. Unplug it. And then what else? Learn how to pair. And then if you got another Stadia controller, it gives you the option to do another one. I don't have another one, I only brought one. So press and hold. Oh, uh, so to pair is different. So you gotta press the Y for two seconds and status light turns orange. It's now pairing visible. So we gotta push, hold the Y plus the Stadia. All right, so it vibrated and it's turning orange. So it is working properly. So now I'm gonna sit there and pair it to a device and we're gonna test it. All right, I got my iPhone. So we're gonna go to the settings. I'll be testing this out on my iPhone 15 Pro. So let's see if it comes discovered. Yep, right here. So when you're looking it up on Bluetooth, What's this? Oh, my iPhone's sticking this to watch. All right, so when you look it up, uh, so it's, it mine picks up Stadia RS HJ 29 F1. So you're gonna pair it, pair, and it turned white. So it successfully paired with my iPhone. So now we're gonna test it on, so, controller is working let me show you let's see it is turning so it automatically synced i didn't have to change any settings so let's see how it works out hopefully the camera will stay in focus
of kisses. Bye, baby. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. But... All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Working exactly how it did on the X, my actual Xbox One. keep you on it but you can see it is working on turning works perfectly um the re if y'all do want me to see if it'll connect to the xbox 2 let me know in the comments below and i'll be willing to do that too i just want to show you that it does connect and it works and i'm surprised it's actually working pretty well so if you want to play Resident Evil on your phone, it's only for the iPhone 15 Pro and up. It's not available on the older iPhones. But that's it for this video. This was the walkthrough on how to do the switch and the update for your Stadia controller. That way you can have use for it again instead of throwing it out or sitting there just collecting dust. So shout out to Google for doing this for the device, well, the controller, so it's not going to be an issue. So that's it for this video. Hopefully y'all liked it. Like this video, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Anything else y'all want me to do with this controller now that I did the update and anything, let me know. And I'm willing to do it for y'all. See y'all on the next one. Peace.